The Su-27 is a twin-engine, extremely maneuverable fighter aircraft that offers air superiority. Its NATO codename is Flanker. Sequoia Design Center drew up the plans, and Urquhart built the plane. The Su-27SK is the name given to the export model of the plane. The plane can carry out missions such as autonomously flying over enemy land, escorting deep penetrating strike planes, and destroying enemy airfields. Working with both ground and airborne control centers, the plane offers all-around air defense. Upgraded variants of the Su-27 include the Su-30M Flanker, Su-33, and Su-35. Since its first flight in 1982, the Su-27 has been used by Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Indonesia, Uzbekistan, and Vietnam. It is also made in China under license as the F-11. The Su-30MK is a version of the Su-30 that was given to India and made there under a license. After placing an order with Urquhart for 50 planes, the Indian Air Force welcomed the first of them into service in September 2002. The final shipment occurred in late 2004. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, delivered the first of up to 140 planes it constructed in-house in November 2004. For its navy, China has purchased 76 Su-30 MKKs with two seats each and 24 Su-30 MK-2S shipments were finalized by the end of August 2004. Two Su-27SK and two Su-30 MK fighter jets were purchased by Indonesia and delivered in September 2003. The Su-27 was chosen by the Mexican Navy in May of 2006. There should be a total of 10 planes, including eight single-seaters and two Su-27UBs with room for two trainees each. Three more Su-27SKM and three more Su-30MK2 fighter jets were purchased by Indonesia in August of 2007. The Su-27SM, a refined variant of the original Su-27, was a game-changer for the Soviet Air Force. The aircraft has a glass cockpit with three-color multifunction displays and upgraded electronics, as well as a strengthened fuselage to carry a larger arsenal. When the first Su-27SM arrived, it was December 2003. The twin-fin Su-27 is a highly integrated airplane with a host of advanced features. Titanium and high-strength aluminum alloys make up the structure. The engine nacelles have pant fairings installed so that the area between the nacelles and the tail beams maintains a smooth, uninterrupted streamline. Tail beams serve as anchors for the fins and longitudinal tail consoles. The equipment bay, fuel tank, and brake parachute container are all located in the middle beam portion between the engine nacelles. The semi-monocoque fuselage head houses the cockpit, radar compartments, and electronic storage. A 30mm GSH-301 gun with 150 rounds of ammunition and different missiles, rockets, and bombs can be attached to the outside of the ship. With the help of the IR search and track system, laser rangefinder, radar, and helmet-mounted target designator, targets can be found, tracked, and attacked. The Su-27 can drop explosives weighing between 100 and 500 kilograms, as well as incendiary devices, cluster bombs, rocket-propelled grenades, and unguided missiles. The Su-27SK is powered by a pair of AL-31F turbofan engines, NPO Saturn, which were made by the Lialka Engine Design Bureau. A main wedge intake and a louvered auxiliary intake provide air to each engine. The turbofan engine has two shafts and uses after-turbine flow mixing, a common afterburner, an all-mode variable area jet exhaust nozzle, separate electronic controls for the starter and main engine, and a backup hydromechanical engine mode control system. Titanium metal is used for the engine's high-temperature components. In March 2004, NPO Saturn Su-27, powered by the newly designed AL-41 F1 engines, made its maiden voyage. The upgraded motor generates 145 knots 33,000 pounds of force. <laughs>